Hello. So I'm currently looking at my hair and my hair color. And I had stripped some red yesterday. Let me see, what did I use? I have to go find it. But I used this, this stuff, let me see. So, I used this Ion hair color remover. Um, you can get it at Sally's Beauty for like $5.99. Um, I used it to strip this red. I had like a more of a brighter, like, actually it was like a dark red. And I'm trying to get it out. Um, I have some pictures coming up on Saturday and my goodness and I have this overtone it smells so good um, I don't have a lot of it I've used a lot of it for dyeing my hair and stuff but overtone it's more like a coloring uh, color depositing conditioner and yeah so I think I just want to lighten my hair more um, and get this color out and I want to be like more natural for these pictures because it's supposed to be like you know maternal and beautiful and I don't want to look like a freaking walrus so <laughs> so let me get my gloves So I have my gloves here. I don't know why I'm closing the door. <laughs> Just want to. Nobody's here. But I think today I'm gonna stand. Yesterday I sat down. It was a little messy, but not too bad. I'm just gonna put my hair in half because I feel like um I feel like half is better than like in threes because. I'm just going to take it down anyway. And when I take it down, I want to just do it once because my hands are going to be all wet and gooey and stuff. So on the application, on the instructions, it says to apply it to wet hair, but I'm going to apply it to my dry hair. As you can see, there's like a little bit of like, I don't know what to call it, color difference like there's some black in there and there's some red I just want it to be one solid color and I feel like after doing this it's gonna look a brighter version of this it lifts like three levels and that's what it did yesterday so I'm expecting it to be even more bright than it is today if I had more time and more like resources I'd probably be able to um, do more with it like I would want to like maybe do a bleach bath or something fancy like a little bit of highlights or something like that I've never actually done that myself but I would be willing to try it because I'm kind of into hair right now ever since I don't know I don't know what's gotten into me ever since I've been pregnant I've been wanting to do more of my hair I think it's just fun and then I'm having a girl so just I don't know something about it <laughs> it strikes me to do more fun girl things so I'm just gonna brush this part out a little bit I probably I probably
probably won't do that for the top, but might as well do it for the bottom. Yesterday I used a whole packet and I didn't need the other one, so that's pretty good. It says to give it like four ounces of water, of like room temperature water. This is kind of cold water, but I'm gonna make it a little warmer just for the, the temp because I want it to be kind of hot. I had heard that that helps a little bit. So we go see how this comes out. Ignore my double chin. Um, grinders. Okay, so I know what like six ounces looks like. Don't think that's six. So I would say this is about four ounces. I didn't measure it or anything. It's just, maybe that is six, let's see. Maybe a little less. I think there should be good. And now I'm gonna open up this little thing. It's like powder packet, or uh, crystal. I'm gonna say it's a powder packet, but it is. But that's not what I wanted to say. Okay. I kinda wanted this to be a little <laughs> less messy than I had yesterday. Let's see how this goes. Putting it in here is not the easiest. I'm trying to figure out my angle. Okay. This should be okay. Hopefully. Looks like I might have some trouble. Damn. I like things to be kind of on point, but look, here's a nice little, there we go, that's better, and now it says to obviously let the crystals dissolve, which I'm going to do. Yes, I used a water bottle just because it does the same thing as as one of those as one of those fancy bottles, the coloring bottles. It's literally just a longer neck, longer tube, longer straw thing, but I think that's a good shake. There's still some little crystals, little chunks, but it's still a little chunky. Okay, it's looking good. Okay, so now I'm trying to think, do I want to put a towel on the floor? Oh, it's there. Okay. So now I'm gonna really soak it. Oops, I'm gonna be getting it messy in here. Luckily, this doesn't have like a staining property, it's just kind of like there. It is 
it's kind of looking like the color I had it before I dyed my hair. Because I've dyed it and dyed it a few times. I had like one highlights for like a little bit. And that was cute for a while, but I got really tired of the blonde looking like orange and brassy. It was very hard to keep up with and it wasn't really my thing. Because I like my hair to be soft and I don't like dealing with like having to, I don't know. Now at this point I feel like I'm able to keep up with stuff like this. But at the time, I just wasn't really into it. I think I had to like go to school and I was just like full time school. So it just was too much to keep up with the hair stuff as well. When you have like all these assignments and stuff. But now, I have a little more free time. I applied to some new jobs because my old job ended with the school year ending. I just want to do something simple since I'm pregnant. I applied at some hostess positions. Some... What else? Oh, at Old Navy. That was like my first, one of my first jobs ever. I loved it a lot. So yeah, this is plenty for the whole head. I seen a girl, she put two packets in a bottle and you know, enough water for it. And um, she had shorter hair than mine, but I guess she really wanted to saturate it. And she did a good job because she, removed all of her purple from her hair. Mine, I feel like it's going to take a lot more than two times. Well, since I'm having such success, I'm going to go ahead and do another little loop thing. But yeah, I applied different places. For now, just to do something. I don't actually have to do anything, but I want to. Oh my. <laughs> I'm going to need to clean that up. And I've tried a color oops before, which is like a, um, a type of color removal. It works really, really good. I remember it working really good before I dyed my hair. Um, it was like a long time ago. I had, I don't know if it was red or something like that. And I did that and my hair turned like blonde. I remember it being so blonde. I don't remember what I took out of it. But yeah, I did that. I, I don't know what would make me want to do that. I was younger, so I don't know how I knew anything about hair, but I seem to have an idea because that's actually a good little kit if you want it all on. It just stinks, so I, I was a little more hesitant to go that route. This one, on the other hand, doesn't smell. Um, it has a slight smell, but not... <laughs> I like color oops. Color oops was crazy. This one is pretty good. I do kind of like it. And then how my hair turned out like texture wise after, it's pretty good. I did not mind it. I feel like it wasn't dry. It was just normal. It's, it just felt like I had like a really good conditioner, like my hair was kind of wavy when I woke up, it was kind of nice. It wasn't all fried, you know, it was like good. So yes, let me make sure I got the back, I'd be forgetting the back. 
like when I dye my hair, I feel like, oh man, I did not get the back like I wanted to. And by that time, I was so tired. It was like more towards the night. I'm kind of recognizing when I can do things, when I'm more energetic, and that's during the day. Yesterday, I also put it like in a little chongo, like in a bun, and then I put it in um, um, like a, a bag. I'm just going to clean up the floor when I'm done. <laughs> but yeah, I put it in a bag, like in a shopping bag, and I tied it up, and then I like blue dry it, blue dried it, and when I did that, it was like, it was good. It was actually really good, but it was like not getting dry enough because of the chungle. And so I feel like that had a lot to do with why it didn't like lift all the color that it needed to lift. And also you can leave this in longer than hair dyes and stuff like that. It doesn't over process. It just removes the color lightens it but it's not like bleach or anything you won't kill your hair all this is is vitamin c is what they say well, i'm just really soaking it in there because i want it to get all the way through. I don't want anything to go undone. I want it to be so soaked and ready. I'm just going ahead, and going ahead and putting it all over my head. Cause that's what it needs, good soak. It actually feels so relaxing too. Like it doesn't feel like anything bad's happening. It feels so good. <laughs> I like it. So yeah, if you have like blonde highlights and let's say you put like a darker color on top, um, or like, you know, any color, like red, green, pink, stuff like that. Using this will lighten it up and get it closer to that blonde again without taking off that blonde because the blonde is like where your hair is at. Mine, my natural hair under this all is black, so. Okay, so without using a chongo or anything, there's a little, probably don't need it, but, okay, so without using a chongo, I'm just going to put this in a uh, bag. I'll use this one. I've got on my face a little bit, it is like itchy a little bit. So yeah, I'll put it in this little bag. So it can like 
heat up. I'm gonna blow dry it with this on. I'm just gonna hang around a little bit with it on until it's dry. Once it's dry, I'm gonna, <laughs> I look crazy. Once it's all the way dry, I'll be able to put it, to shower it out. And I'll shower it out really good. And then I'll make another video and you can see how it came out. And then we'll go through another process after that, if I want to. So stay tuned.